Jejuri, which is very important, won the Commonwealth Poetry Prize in 1977. In front of his boss, who is boss here? Ajmil. And who is the Ajmil here? Ajmil is the top leaders of all the top leaders. Dawn is morning, dusk is evening, and he says early in the morning before anybody could realize where he was going. In the tooth, it's because they bite. What is the bite? They are biting their own anger. Politicians, they talk, 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 and do nothing. And finally, they would have for any work that happens in bureaucrat's office, or it could be secretariat, or it could be any. Hello, hi, namaste and welcome to Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. I am Nanda Kishore, Faculty of English in Vidyashram, Mysore. In today's session, I am going to discuss one of the five poems prescribed to first semester BCom and BBA by Suru University students. And the poem is titled as Ajmil and the Tigers written by Arun Kolatkar. So let us see what is this poem all about in today's session. Firstly, let us see something about the author, the poet. It is written by Arun Balakrishna Kolatkar and he was born on 1st November 1932 and died on 25, 25th September 2004. He wrote in both Marathi and English. He is basically from Maharashtra. His first collection of English poetry known as Jejuri, which is very important, won the Commonwealth Poetry Prize in 1977. Let us move on to the poem now. Before I start with the poem, let me tell you this poem includes figurative language. What is this figurative language? Here, just I'm going to narrate the poem in couple of minutes. There will be tiger and tiger people or tiger group where they go on hunting sheep. But this group, this herd, this pack, the tiger pack is stopped by the sheep dog and he has a master known as Ajmal. And Ajmal is the leader. Here figurative languages, Ajmal represents leader and sheepdog represents the police or the bureaucrats who control the system or who looks after the system. Here the tigers or the tiger king are the ones right who are politicians. And he could also act as the leader of the sheepdog and the leader of the politicians. So you should be very careful while you interpret this poem and we are talking about figurative language here. So let us start with the poem here. The tiger people went to their king and said, we are starving. We have had nothing to eat, not a bite. For 15 days and 16 nights. You should be careful from the point of examination. They can ask you this topic or this concept for one mark. For how many days they did not have anything to eat? For 15 days and 16 nights. Ajmal has got a new sheepdog. He cramps our style and won't let us get within a mile of meat. Very first line. If you see the tiger people, and as I told you, the figurative language here, tiger is politicians, or tigers are politicians here. Yeah? We have tiger people, politician people. You can interpret this as politicians. And most importantly, this is a political satire. This poem is political satire. What is this political satire here? First of all, you should know the meaning of satire. Satire is where uh, the witty language, witty or like sarcastic language 
is used as a weapon to mock, yes, to make fun of particular group or particular concept. So this poem is mocking politicians. Yes, this entire poem, it also feels sorry for the people who are oppressed, the oppressor and the oppressed. The oppressor will be the politicians and the oppressed will be both bureaucrats like sheepdog and uh, the people who represent the sheep, the mass. The tiger people went to their king, of course, the, bu the bureaucrats are totally different here. It is the tiger people, tiger people are the politicians. They went to their king, their leader and said, we are starving. You can interpret this starving as a matter of money. The concept is money here and if they are starving, of course, they are not getting any income. It is about monetary funds. We have had nothing to eat, not a bite. For any work that happens in bureaucrat's office or it could be secretariat or it could be any government officers, you have to bribe them. And once you bribe the officials, it has to go to the politicians. That is a fact. That is an open truth. Everyone knows it, but nobody talks about it. So here, they say, since many days, they haven't had nothing to eat. Not even a bite. For how many days? For 15 days and 16 nights. Ajumel has got a new sheepdog. It depends on you, how you interpret it. Ajmel is a leader here, actually is a shepherd, the boss of the sheep and the sheepdog. Indirectly, he is also the boss of politicians, the tigers. Later, he turn, turns out to be the winner. But here, Ajmel has got a new sheepdog. So, new sheepdog is, it could be police or army or it could be even other bureaucrats. Those who are in power. Let us say, if any bureaucrat or any administrator, if it comes to district level, DC, yes, district collector, will be in charge of this city. This district collector is so good in administering, then it will be very difficult for the tiger people, so-called politicians, to make money. Because... The DC will be so powerful, he or she will be a watchdog. They are very attentive, they are going to watch in and out. Anything bad that happens will be taken into charge by DC. So it will, of course, going to affect the tiger people there, other smaller politicians. And the tiger people here, they are going and blaming to their king, reporting to their king, saying that Ajimul has got a new sheepdog. He cramps our style. This cramps are interpreted. This, this word is interpreted in different way. Cramps is like where you get a cramp in your muzzle. Or it could be pain, severe pain. And it says it is aching. It is causing a pain. He, who is here? The sheepdog. He is causing too much of pain for our style. What is the style? We usually go and hunt the sheep the way we want and we come back. Feasting, we feast, we eat, we eat bellyful. And, and this style, uh, this uh, sheepdog, yes, which is watching over the sheep, has got a style to chase away these animals. It could be wolf, a pack of wolf, it could be a pack of uh, tigers, anything but here it is the tiger and it is chasing away just the way DC keeps an eye on anything that bad happens and won't let us get within a mile forget about just going and trying to hunt the sheep this sheepdog is not even 
allowing the tigers to go near the sheep and within a mile of meat you can't even walk dare you dream to go and hunt the sheep and next that's shocking said the tiger king now he says really i am the king tiger king tiger king says that's shocking why didn't you come to see me before this could be interpreted now remember each of the politicians will have their own hold in their own areas anything that happens in their area will be reported later to their boss who happens to be the leader right here in this in this case it could be any politician who is who is on top i don't like to take up any particular name or any particular designation here i would say top leader the highest ranking leader whether it goes right or goes wrong will be reported but here the top leader is angry saying that what were you doing till now why did you wait now you are coming and reporting it's too late but still it's okay it's quite shocking to know and the tiger king tells make preparations for a banquet feasting yes or royal dinner it is ordering who the tiger king is ordering make preparations so which is the direct order from the top leader and he says i am going to teach that person a lesson that is what people do actually that is why there will be always a clash between bureaucrats and the politicians between the administrators and the politicians between police and politicians they are controlled remember all of these people they are controlled by one leader and he says make preparations for banquet i am going to teach the sheep dog a lesson he will never forget it says these are the exact words most of the politicians they use while giving an interview or while they are talking on the days in front of millions of people they use the exact words i am going to teach him a lesson you better be aware that i am the person who is responsible i am the person who is being in power and i am the one who is responsible to control you and i'm going to do it and i'm going to do it in my way not your way no never and it says here here said the tigers yes listen listen i am going to teach that lesson who told us the tiger king here here said the tigers but careful said the queen the queen here could be the wives of politicians when the wives listen to all this rubbishness all this nonsensical things being discussed or incident you know by chance if the wives overhear what the husbands are discussing with other people they usually have that habit of warning their husbands be careful with what you do few people dare stop their husbands but few don't whatever it might be here careful said the queen but he was already gone who is he the tiger king but he was already gone he is furious now he is is totally angry alone he went alone into the darkness before the dawn into the darkness before the dawn dawn is morning dusk is evening and he says early in the morning before anybody could realize where he was going he had gone somewhere where is it he might have just gone near the sheep the herd of sheep just to inspect how this sheep dog is doing its duty you can interpret this why he goes alone it could also mean that politicians if they are stopped politicians and their party members are stopped by bureaucrat or the administrator they usually tend to find the mistakes of a bureaucrat that is how it works exactly the way tiger king is trying to identify the loophole is he being watchful is he being alert is he going to keep an eye on his surroundings 
Is there any loophole, any, any loophole, which can just allow us to go and strike the sheep? So he's trying to find faults with the sheep dog here, exactly the way politicians do. If the bureaucrats or the administrators, if they tend to break, imagine it, it, it happens, tend to break the rules or go against the law, then it is like a loophole where the sheep dog would allow the tigers to come and attack the sheep. Exactly the way the bureaucrats lose their prominence or maybe they would let out their ego. It happens every time it happens. So always there will be mutual consent, agreement. Okay, you are taking bribe, then bureaucrats would take, give me half or give me this percentage. But here, it is not the case here. This isn't the case here. I'll tell you why. Let us move on. So he goes and observes how the sheep dog is watching over the pack of the herd of sheep. In an hour, he was back. He comes back within how many hours? In an hour. The good king. Now he says the good king. Arun Kolatkar uses the sarcastic language. The good king. Who is a good politician? Who wants to be favored here? Who is using these words, the good king? It is the tiger people. Tiger people, there is one leader. Under one leader, there are plenty, there are n number of followers who wants advantage, who, who, who takes advantage from one leader. So, of course, this one leader, he is bad and so will the rest of the people. If he is good, that's how it follows. So he says, the good king. Of course, why? Because now the people have gone dry. The politicians may not have received their shares since a long time. And one leader is trying to change it. He says, I am going to make some arrangements for you. And I'll make sure that you are going to receive some money. In this case, some meat. So he says they are praising the good king. A black patch on his eyes, his tail in a sling. So this is a bit complicated. A black patch could be interpreted in different ways. It is the retina of your eyes. They are talking about it. Or it is interpreted from the poet's point of view, the black patch where it is not clear where the leader will fail to identify the truth because what he is going to do is very bad but here instead of looking at things as it is he has blocked his eyes black is like dark darkness his tail in a sling sling is like a, sort of a bandage towards the tail maybe he's hurt or the way sling is also a sort of a thread there, yes, and here's maybe the, the way the tiger appears with its tail wiggling, right, the proud movement possibly. And then it says, and said, I have got it all planned. Now he comes and tells, I have made arrangements, so you need not worry about anything. I am here for you. I have got it all planned. Now that I know the lie of the land, the lie, lie here is not the lies, what a person tells, the lie is the property, where the land lies, where the land is occupied. So I know how to attack, which direction to go, how to move, how to crouch and how to attack. I have planned it perfectly, just the way Politicians will make agreements, arrangements, the oppressor, the politician, the oppressor, he would go to people and give false promises that I am going to get you so much, I am going to do this, I am going to do that. But will those promises be kept? We don't know. Few may or few may not. But he says, out of all the promises made, we are going to get the votes. The votes will win our party and we will win our 
anything that comes in our way. Exactly the way the tiger is promising its followers. All of us will have to try. Now he says, see, trying alone, I have done my job as a king. But I need your support. Exactly. Remember, there will be a lot of political parties, a lot of political members. So there are certain set of seats which they need to win, the majority seats. And a minister will not be in a power or in, let us say the leader, the top leader will not be put as a leader, will not be given the power until and unless he wins the majority of the seats. So if we want to eat the meat, of course, I need all your support. Just the way the minister, the top leader would request his political party leaders or his people to support him to become the leader, to win over the majority of the seats and to be on top position. And he says, all of us will have to try. We will outnumber the son of a bitch. Okay, the words, strong words used here by Arun Kolarka. We will outnumber. We are so many and he is one. That's the power of sheepdog. We will outnumber the son of a bitch. Bitch, dog, female, dog. And this time, there will be no H. Mm -mm. No H, no problem. No hurdles, no barriers, nothing. It will be smooth, crisp. Because this time I shall be leading the attack. He says, I am the one who is going to lead you all to the glory. We can feast. Let us see what happens. Quick as lightning, the sheepdog was. And do you think that politicians are the only ones who are very brainy? No. And do you think the bureau bureaucrats who have cleared one of the toughest examinations and they have come and sat on the seat they deserve and you think they will easily allow the people to be subjugated the problems to be like you know doubled no they are the ones they are the main course they are the main bridge actually between the people and the politicians that is why you should know the power of sheepdog here Quick as lightning, the sheepdog was. He took them all in as prisoners of war. Prisoners of war. The 50 tigers and the tiger king. It is 50 tigers against one. And the tiger king as well, which will make 51 actually. 50 and the tiger king alone. 50 plus 1. 51 tigers and only... One sheepdog, the mighty sheepdog, that's why bureaucrats are very brainy. Before they could get their paws on a single sheep, they couldn't even go near, forget about at least giving it a try. Before, look at the words, before, before they could plan of attacking a bureaucrat, a bureaucrat might have gone a step ahead of politicians and he or she would know that this people would plan this way and I should be ready with my answer. I should safeguard my seat and myself and that's how they do. Police or army, they know. They are the people, they are like sort of a second god who protect the people. Of course, there are a lot of millions of people who blame police but Imagine if there is no police, so-called police or army, what would be the life of a common man? Impossible to imagine. And it says, before they could get their paws on a single shape. How many? 51. They couldn't even go and touch. And it says, they never had a chance. Not even a chance. No way. You couldn't even think and dream in, in your dreams. No. Never had a chance. The dog was in 51 places all at once. Figurative language. It, it is highly impossible for a sheepdog to be in all the 51 places. But 
it is just that imaginative and it's just sitting in one place it occupied it conquered it captured all the 51 tigers including the tiger king it says the dog was in 51 places all at once all at once sitting in one place where the bureaucrat manages to get hold of his or her boundary so this is the boundary if the she yes it's all over here the herd the, the herd of the sheep and sheep dog is always watchful the way bureaucrats are and they know their limits their boundary anybody who strike or tries to strike or break in here it would be there before it could think of here it would be here it's just that there are few concepts few areas where they where they are administrating administering and they know they can expect if something is going on a bit here and there ups and downs bureaucrats would be like very alert they were like yes i know this fellow would be trying to confiscate from this area so we need to be tightening we need to watch over we need to be more vigilant especially they know their weakness whose weakness the politician's weakness just like the weakness of tigers the sheep dog knows about the tiger mentality the tiger's mentality that is why it is very watchful he is strong strong to bind tie them up who is he the sheep dog he strung them all out in a daisy chain. Daisy chain, like just like uh, where there will be links, yes? The chain, bind them. And flung them in front of his boss in one big heap. Flung, throw them in front of his boss. Who is boss here? Ajmil. And who is the Ajmil here? Ajmil is the top leaders of all the top leaders. He is the toppest leader. Yes. And his boss in one big heap. One big heap. In front of his boss in one big. Just like. Take them. I have done my duty. It's about the sheep dog. Or the bureaucrat. Or the police. Or the army. Who are going to confiscate all of their enemies. And get them in front of their leader and what will their leader do let us see that nice dog you got there ajmel nice dog said the tiger king it's just the way the ministers or the, or the top leaders would go to one of the topest leader one of the topest leaders and they would tell you have appointed this bureaucrat in my area to cause me troubles to cause me problems Yes, and how will that topest leader justify his answer? Let us see that. Let us see his nice dog you got there. And he says, looking a little ill. Ill, maybe the fight, or maybe the misunderstanding, or maybe the agitation by the political leaders or the followers. They would feel, sir, you knew I would feel bad. And still you have appointed this nonsensical person to my area to trouble me and he, he would be agitated he would be angry he would be upset about his leader his master looking a little ill and spiting out a tooth ache and it's swollen because there, there might be fight and this tooth also talks about why there is ache the pain the swollen the swell in the tooth it's because they bite what is the bite they are biting their own anger politicians they talk 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 and do nothing and finally they would have swelling in their mouth maybe the tooth ache yes against whom are they barking here the politicians are barking against the bureaucrats the sheep dog here and it says but there has been a bit of misunderstanding there has been a bit of misunderstanding 
Yes. Now, this is very important. What follows after this is very important. And, and what is previously told is also very important. Why? Because remember the tiger and the tiger king or the tigers, a pack of tigers, they had thought without informing to the boss, the supreme boss, we would take the meat. We are just taking whatever we wanted. But the boss has appointed somebody who is going to trouble this pack. And now they know that they are against each other and they are already caught here. Remember, they are caught. They are subjugated. The, the power has come down. They are ashamed. So they want to tell the supreme leader that, you know, there is a misunderstanding. Actually, we didn't want bribe as such. We are not here to convince you and take the money all by ourselves, all for ourselves now. Actually, we are here to meet you, just to greet you, just to make you feel happy. Yes? Now, let us see what happens. But there has been a, a bit of misunderstanding. We could have wiped out your herd in one clean sweep. Remember, sir, it is like giving a warning here. This is very important. The supreme leader, the boss, the ultimate boss knows he would lose his power if he goes against this weak tigers. He would lose for sure because he cannot be a leader until he has somebody to follow. So, and this is just like the politicians who are giving warning. Remember, I can switch the party and you might lose your majority. Be careful. We could have wiped out your herd in one clean sweep. Actually speaking, it is the tigers are telling. If we had made up our mind, possibly we would have swiped off. Somehow something went wrong and we had to be here. But we are not trying to creep up on your sheep, he says. But we are not trying to creep up on your sheep. On your sheep, a sheep represents the people, yeah. Remember the group of people or the people in mass. Yes, the entire society. We are not trying to do any harm to the people here. And it says, we feel that means are more important than ends. This was asked for the previous question. In previous question paper, this was asked. Remember, you are in first semester, my student university degree students. This question was asked in the previous year question paper. So what does it mean? For five marks, it was question and notations. Remember, we feel that means are more important than ends. What is this means here? Means are consequences like the final result. Yes, what would happen if they had come and killed the sheep? Then there would be no sheep to eat for the next day. But the tigers are not so hungry or so angry to just eat up all the sheep available. Now, they know how much to take and how much to leave. In the other perspective, in the other angle, from the other point of view, you look at it, it is a warning sent to the mass leader, the supreme leader, we are very, very much worried about our party. But if you are not going to support us, we give a damn. We are not worried about anybody else except us. That is means and important than ends. What is this end? Of course, if you don't give us the sheep, if you don't give us a bribe, the end would be you are going to lose. And so will we. We both are going to be the losers. Should you need that? Would you prefer that? It is indirectly sending a message. It is not just a person comes and tells the leader and, and bluntly tells the leader saying that I am going to quit this party. You are not giving me any prominence. No. It is just that he sends this message 
through somebody else so that it would reach the supreme re leader. That's how it is. But here we feel that means are more important than ends. Means even you should eat, even I should eat. Let us both eat. That is means. Instead of ending, collapsing everything. We were coming to see you as friends. As I told you, we were coming to see you as friends. We didn't want the money. We didn't want the bribe. No, you have mistaken us. No, don't mistake us. He says, we were coming to see you as friends. But this sheep dog, you know, he was very vigilant. He was all over 51 places at once. And he bound us, captured us. Just the way the bureaucrats would capture the wrongdoings of politicians. But the politicians would come on media and tell, I was just trying to help my people. But this bureaucrat, she portrayed my image in a wrong way to the wrong people. I'm a good person. I'm not wrong. And they would tell, and that's the truth. Tigers would go to the supreme leader, just like the way politicians would go to their supreme leader and convince. No, 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 no. We are very good. We have come to be your friends. Come to be in your party. But what? What would they do at the end? They would backstab and go and change the party, switch the party, just because they want money. It's happening. It has happened in Karnataka. Then, the sheep dog was the type who had never told a lie in his life. The bureaucrats. Now, yes, they might not tell lies. Maybe. In simple, yes, of course, they are doing it for the betterment of the society. He was built along simpler lines. What he had to do, he will do. What the police should do, they will do. What the army has to do, it will do. And he was simply disgusted. This has happened to many bureaucrats. Many IAS officers, KS officers, police officers, army people, army personnel, they might have been embarrassed about their own job. They might have been very sincere. Look like the people didn't want to have the post. They removed it. Because they knew that they wanted to eat money and this corruption is never ending agenda for the political party. So this sheepdog is very much embarrassed, hurt. And disgusted. Most importantly. What the hell man. What did I do. I did what my master told. The supreme leader. But he kept on making. Frantic signs. He kept on making. Frantic. Like, you know uh, agitated. Or uh, too much emotional signs. Yes like where he goes on telling. I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have done this. And. What will Ajmal do? But Ajmal, the good shepherd, refused to meet his eyes and pretended to believe every single word of what the tiger king said. If I am the supreme leader, if I am the Ajmal, I will have the bureaucrats in one side and the political party leaders on the other side. And I cannot just watch over either of their eyes because I know that I am the culprit. I am in in, in middle of nowhere, neither I can take support from this bureaucrat, nor let them go. It is a strangulating situation. You are suffocated. So, this words, it says, refused to meet his eyes and pretended to believe. This is very important. When will you not look into other person's eyes? When you are guilty, when you know that what you are doing is wrong, you would reject, you would refuse to look into other person's eye. That's exactly what the, the person here, Ajmal, is doing. But it is the opposite of it. Why? Ajmal, he knows if he stares at the tigers, he would be eaten. 
or maybe something possibly wrong would go. Just the way the supreme leader cannot look into everybody's face, eyes and tell. Now, that shows that you are dominating. So if the people, the political followers or the ministers, if they are hurt, if their ego is hurt, then they would say, I am going to teach you a lesson, my boy, my, my dear man. I am going to teach you a lesson, very good lesson. So politics is not a cup of coffee everybody can have. It's not so easy. You should have a lot of sensible things which should go on in your mind. You should know to satisfy everybody's needs. So he says, pretended to believe everything. He's not believing blindly, pretended. Pretending, very important. That's how people do, right? Especially politicians. They pretend, yes, I'm a good man. I'm going to give you that. False promises and false hopes, which are now fulfilled. Of what the Tiger King said and seemed to be taken in by all the lies. He knows, the supreme leader knows who is right and who is wrong. The supreme leader is helpless here because he has got a tactical things in his mind. Ajmil cut them loose and asked them all to stay for dinner. Rather than chasing them out, they have come a long way. They want to be my friends, whether they are my enemies or friends. It is very important to satisfy them. Just the way where they will feast every time they go on to meet some supreme leader, whether they get blastings, whether they take blastings or not, they would fill their tummy and come back. It was an offer the tigers couldn't refuse. Of course, they wanted this. They were craving for this. And the West, they had eaten something better. 15 days and 16 nights hungry. Yes. And they couldn't refuse. They couldn't say no. Of course. And after the lamb chops and the roast, when Ajmal proposed, they signed a long-term friendship treaty. Chops. Chops, the meat curry. Yes, and roast when Ajmal proposed. So he was, this Ajmal, he was aware that something bad would happen after they go back because they would come back with a new plan. Instead of sending them back with angry faces and hungry stomachs, it is always better to give them something, make them feel happy, make them feel that I am going to be with you and send them with happy faces. Just the way the politicians do. And here he proposed it, they sign up and they told, they guarantee the politics the politicians, they will assure, okay, I'm not going to switch my party. I will remain in your party. Long term of friendship treaty, there's a treaty. All the tigers roared, ah, now, yes, okay, okay. Hail the supreme leader. We couldn't agree with you more. Now they say, they say, we couldn't agree. You're giving us this? My God, that is what we wished. And swore they would be good friends all their lives as they put down the folks and the knights. Now, oh, the folks and the knights. This folks and the knights could be the ideas, the wrong ideas, which could hurt the political party or the supreme leader. So they would just keep it calm. Also, it could be the pause. The strong, powerful paws, the nails, they would like, you know, retreat, retract within their paws. And they were like, yes, very soft now. Are we are going to be in your party now. Don't worry. And they swore, they make promises, false promises every time they swear. Yes, and they do it. And then, Ajmil signed the pact treaty. The pact with the tiger people and send them back. Laden with gifts of sheep, they are going to get so many things. Gifts of sheep, leather jackets and the balls of wool. These are very important. Why? Because the minister, the supreme leader would promise, 
you take this constituency, you take this agreement, you make this property, you take, you buy this, yes, you take that contract, you make, you mint money, not making, mint money, and you give me so much, yes, gifts of sheep, leather jackets, which also indicates the luxury, leather jacket, not the wool jacket, yeah, leather, leather jackets and the balls of wool, of course, making them comfortable. Ajmal wasn't a fool. Now, this is very important. Ajmal, he wasn't a fool because he had tactics in his mind. Like all good shepherds, he knew the leader, like all the leaders of the world. Now, he says, let me just bring in a live example here, the parallel example. Think about Donald Trump who lost this election. Yes, 2020 election. And he could be called as Ajmal, the shepherd, who thought he would win, but his strategies went up, upside down. Can't predict. Yes? And, he's, he, and he was not a fool. And he says, I'm going to continue. I'm going to come back to the power. Maybe he is building his tactics. And he says, like all good shepherds, he knew that even tigers have got to eat sometime. This is very important. Even tigers have to eat sometime, which means the leader will be eating every time until and unless he is in the power, he eats. He keeps on eating. Beautifully used. A good shepherd sees to it, they do. So good shepherd who is a good leader? One who fills his belly and the belly of others as well. But not the people belly. They would sacrifice. They don't mind sacrificing. Yes, gifts of sheep. They would sacrifice people. That is why there is a lot of political agenda, a lot of political strife, struggle. And people are the losers. Have you heard any, any political leader coming and dying in, in, in the middle of the road? No. They would not mind the lives of people. And we are like mad dogs here. Mad, right? And we go against each other community. And they are the gainers. They are getting a lot of support. And we say, you belong to this community. You belong to this category. You are that religion. You are this religion. My God. Let us fight and let us make our religion, our community supreme. Nonsensical idiots. We are the losers. We should know that being a common person. Being a common people. Do we know that? We don't. So who is the loser? The people. So he says, a good shepherd sees to it, they do. They do, the tigers do. He is free to play a flute all day. Flute. Flute bajao. What does it flute represent? What, what is this flute here? What is it representing? He says, he is free to play a flute. But maybe not the case with every leader, but the leader who is supreme, who believes that I am the supreme leader, that is why I had been calling supreme, he has the rights to play the flute in the sense, ban bajana, if somebody makes mistake, then give him properly. If somebody is overacting, if somebody is overdoing, then even then he will receive it. So, a political leader should be both good and bad. He should know what to do at the right point of time. And he says, free to play a flute all day. I'm like, you know, I'm for you. As well, fat tigers and fat sheep drink from the same pond with a full stomach for a common pond. What is this pond here? will feed both people, people will be fed less. But remember, while they are receiving something, they are always in fear about losing something. Let us say we are receiving the subsidy. Okay, let me bring down to the level of commoner. We receive subsidy for the gas cylinder, LPG cylinder. 
Yes, we receive subsidy for the petrol. If he, if he receives, if the price of some product goes down, he is always afraid, always scared that something would be high tomorrow. This is the mentality of a commoner and he can never be amongst the politician. That is for sure. He knows politics should be kept away just the way tigers should be kept away from the sheep. Yes? Or else what would happen? They would end up losing. Both will be the losers. So he knows the supreme leader, he should also feed the sheep and the tigers here. But what about the sheep dog? They are always on the limelight. They are brought to the level of heroes and drastically collapsing. Push them to the dark. So that is all about this poem, the political satire, where he mocks at the politics and the politicians. Let us see the previous year's question. This is for one mark, these two, and this is for five marks annotation. Why did the tiger people go to their king in order to get meat to complain? Right? So that they were not eaten, they have not eaten for 15 days and 16 nights. How many tiger, tigers were arrested? 51. 51 tigers were arrested. We feel that means are more important than ends. Annotations for 5 marks and I suppose I have given plenty of ideas in my previous sessions. Hope you can follow the same and that is it. For today's session, I'm going to meet you in my next session with new topic. Until then, keep reading. Have a good day. Take care.